how many times must I tell you? You must be on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. At last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. But an act of horrific violence occurred during the night, and I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. there's a possible link to my mother, I, I hope you'll let me know. In the early hours of the morning, Elizabeth Adams was found dead in her room, savagely mutilated with a knife. I'll get straight to the point, Louis. According to the initial elements at my disposal, you were the last person to see her alive. Yes, last night we... Uh... Do you suspect me? I want you to tell me everything that happened last night, and leave nothing out. Tell me, how did the evening begin? Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came up to us. She was in a state of panic and assisted that she needed to speak to me. She said she feared for her life. I took my leave of the Duchess and followed Elizabeth to her room. Mm -hmm. Continue. She insisted we have a drink, without which she refused to confide anything. What exactly did she want to speak about? She claimed she saw my mother the previous evening on the cliff, if I remember correctly. Interesting. I will send someone as soon as possible. But do go on. I refused to go on drinking with her. She already seemed drunk and her conversation became confused. So, then she ordered me to get out. If only I'd stayed. Don't blame yourself, Yui. How could you have known? But thank you for this new information. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who... And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. H how would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. 
Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So, I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And, Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. Honey, the remedy of the gods. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Carmelite water. Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Oh, what a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm -hmm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. He's a pro Not to worry, Your Eminence. If he is innocent, then he has nothing to fear. Do you know why Monsieur Bonaparte was hanging around her room like that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the dashing young soldier had become infatuated with a fragile young woman who looked a bit lost. But I don't think he got a very warm welcome. Bonaparte and Adams? 
But they didn't even know each other, did they? I couldn't say, Louis. One last thing. You must know that Peru hit young Adams on the evening of our arrival. He apparently violently attacked her in this small salon. Do you know anything else about the attack? Oh, unfortunately not. I arrived too late to intervene. Young Miss Adams had already been submitted to the foul louts rat. Otherwise, you can believe me, it would not have happened. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Will you remind me of the facts we already know about? Elizabeth Adams was killed last night, but Piaggi was with Holm and I until late at night. As for Bonaparte and Washington, they left us after midnight, both tired. I'll be in touch as soon as I have any more information. Van Vulner. Good day, Monsieur de Richer. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Uh, nothing special. Has anyone told you that Elizabeth was killed last night? I... Yes. Rumors spread quickly. Huh. He looks very put out. It's... Uh, it's horrible. Uh, how did it happen? I can say nothing to you, sir. You'd better follow your host's instructions and stay in your quarters. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room.
chest with a half circle pattern. A chest with a half circle pattern. A chest with a half circle pattern. <laughs> 